he threatens her with a knife, and the snipers prepare to engage in case they are ordered to intervene. Atchison and his men watch via livestream, awaiting any movement from Pierce to save her. The movie begins in the beautiful city of France, where an attractive woman named Elise is an undercover agent that the French police have been keeping tabs on for some time. She has been AWOL for a year after being associated with Alexander Pierce. He is a notorious criminal wanted for money laundering. After going on a mission to catch Pierce, she suddenly disappears and becomes his lover. Since her sudden appearance in France, the police closely monitor her every movement for any suspicious activity that will hopefully lead them to Pierce. Elise is well aware of her surroundings but remains calm despite the police constantly following her. She orders food in a cafe while two other men closely watch her on the side. A male courier approaches her and gives her a mysterious letter from Pierce. The police are alarmed as this is an unusual routine for her. And so they quickly take action and arrest the courier, assuming he's Pierce. The letter instructs her to ride a train at an exact time and to pick a man with the same build as Pierce to mislead the police. As soon as she finishes reading the letter, she burns it to hide the evidence. When Inspector John Atchison, the head of the operation, sees this, he immediately assumes it's from Pierce. Thus, he orders his men to save the letter and follow her immediately. As she leaves the area, another mysterious man follows after her, who seems unrelated to the police. She heads to the train station, where she cunningly times the exact arrival of the crowd departing from the train. The police lose her trail as the people slow them down, and Elise successfully escapes. Atchison reports to Chief Inspector Jones the possibility that Pierce has undergone plastic surgery to acquire a new face. It shows that he wired a large sum of money to a surgeon from a Swiss bank account. Jones finds it somewhat perplexing as there is insufficient evidence to prove his claim. He then evaluates the courier's profile, whom Atchison assumes to be the new face of Pierce. But unfortunately, the profile reveals that they got the wrong person, and Jones mocks Atchison for his mistake. Atchison leaves the office after Jones threatens to terminate the operation since it has already cost him a lot of money following Atchison's recent error. A specialist restores the ashes of the letter to find out its content. It reveals the location of Elise's destination, and they quickly respond. At the train, she scans the men inside as he searches for a potential decoy to frame his pierce to mislead the police. She is drawn to Frank, an American tourist and math teacher, and sits with him. Frank feels instantly smitten by her beauty and finds it hard to speak. He then smokes and asks if it bothers her. He then explains that what he's holding is an electronic cigarette that delivers the same amount of nicotine, but the smoke is water vapor. She responds with a disappointed tone that she prefers men to do as they please. They continue to engage in a casual conversation until she graciously demands him to invite her for dinner. At dinner, Elise tries to guess his job and is surprised to know he's a math teacher. They seem to get along quite well as they spend more time getting to know each other. On the other hand, two undercover police spy on them a few seats away and take a picture of Frank. They send it to Atchison, and he gives the image to a forensic specialist to find his identification data, proving whether he is Pierce or not. Atchison confidently believes it's him and immediately sends copies of Frank's picture to his men at the station. He instructs them to arrest him once he confirms his background to be suspicious. After some time, Frank notices two suspicious men watching over them, but Elise dismisses it saying he's just paranoid. As the train nears its destination, she bids her farewell, and he sadly leaves her, hoping she will ask him to stay. Once Frank's background check is complete, it confirms him to be a tourist with a clean history. This information frustrates Atchison as he is again at a dead end. He then prompts his men to cancel their mission immediately and act normally to avoid unnecessary suspicions by people. Back at the office, an employee appears to be a spy of Shaw, a big-time gangster Pierce stole from, and he reports the arrival of Pierce with Elise in Venice. This piece of information prompts Shaw to change his destination urgently. Upon Frank's arrival in Venice, she suddenly appears and invites him to come with her. He hesitantly joins her as he thinks they will never meet again. They check in as a married couple and stay at a grand suite prepared by Pierce. The same mysterious man from France also shows up to check in at the hotel. Once inside, Elise enters the bedroom and sees a closet with a ribbon on it. It reveals a closet full of expensive gifts from Pierce, which she greatly appreciates. As Frank scans the room, he sees her in the mirror and instantly knows someone arranged everything, especially for her. 
Upon Shaw's arrival, he orders his men to monitor Venice's three grand hotels and keep Pierce alive until they get his money. That night, she dresses up for dinner, and Frank seems stunned by her stunning appearance. After ordering food, he asks Elise who her man is, as it is unusual for a hotel to leave gifts. She then shares that she hopes to meet Pierce in Venice but feels torn since they haven't talked for two years. He notices her bracelet, and she tells him it's a gift from her mother. It carries a deep meaning of love and a reminder to accept the totality of a person no matter its past. When they return to the suite, he makes them a refreshing drink when he suddenly notices a flower bouquet with a letter. Elise reads that it's an invitation from Pierce to a ball two days from now. She then goes to the balcony for fresh air and notices a suspicious man pretending to chill on a boat. He follows after her and pays her a compliment. Suddenly, she kisses him but leaves him hanging for the night. The following day, Frank wakes up for breakfast, as arranged by Elise. He is confused to find her gone without a word. Shaw's men suddenly break in, thinking he's Pierce, and they violently attempt to kidnap him. Luckily, he escapes through the window and crosses to the roof, where Elise sees him. Atchison's men notice his dangerous situation and prepare to intervene. They report the incident to Atchison, but he orders them to ignore him since it's not their mandate. He desperately escapes by jumping from the balcony and accidentally pushes an Italian officer to the river. Because of this, the officers arrest him for assault and causing a scene in a public market. At the police station, a detective misinterpreted Frank's situation and detained him overnight. Suddenly, the detective takes him out of the cell and transports him to Shaw's men in exchange for money, as he is assumed to be Pierce. Fortunately, Elise comes to the rescue, and they discreetly depart together. The men catch up to them and get into a dangerous chase, but they eventually manage to escape. Elise explains that their kiss made him a target, and she apologizes for involving him. She finally reveals the reason why everyone seems to be after Pierce. He used to be Shaw's private banker until he stole from him. In addition to this, he is also wanted by the British government for tax evasion. Frank then declares his love for her by telling her he doesn't regret kissing her. His confession surprises her, which ultimately leads her to decide to stop involving Frank in her plans. When they reach the airport in the morning, Elise tells him to tie the boat to the port, but as he does this, she unties it from her end. She tells him she wishes they had met in another life and bids him goodbye. She then departs and leaves him confused with a bag of money in aid of his flight back to America. She then visits Atchison, which reveals her true identity as a British spy, supposedly working undercover to capture Pierce. She failed the mission because she fell in love with Pierce. But now, she is ready to work with the government again to find Pierce, for she does not want to endanger Frank anymore. The following day, Elise attends the ball that Pierce invited him to. This time, she wears a wiretap as she cooperates with Atchison to hopefully catch Pierce. Suddenly, an attractive man approached her, and they thought it was him for a minute, but when they checked his background, he was just a random rich guy interested in her. Knowing that it wasn't her lover, she turned the attractive man down. The mysterious man from France appears again and leaves a letter on her table. She follows him, thinking he's Pierce but loses track of the man when Frank suddenly shows up. He offers her to dance and insists on not leaving without her. She tries to convince him that he is just a pawn and was helpful for a while, but he is no longer needed. When she separates from him, Atchison's men take him out to stop him from intervening further in the mission. Once Frank is out of sight, she opens the letter with a key and instructions inside it for her to go to a specific address. Atchison's team panicked when she didn't tell them the letter's content. Despite her suspicious behavior, Atchison still tells them to trust her, and they eventually get the letter's address. Atchison immediately alerts the snipers to prepare while he follows Elise. Unbeknownst to them, Shaw is also tracking Elise to capture Pierce and quietly follows behind. At the police boat, Atchison holds Frank in custody and toys with him for a while. He accuses him of Pierce, who acquired a new face. He then demands the payment of his back taxes, which amounts to 744 million euros. The accusation shocks him and keeps him on edge. Still, Atchison eventually reveals that he was playing with him and declares him a moron for almost ruining his operation. He tells him that he will stay with them until the procedure ends. Elise arrives at the address and enters a building. Shaw catches up to her and pressures her to tell him where the safe is. He threatens her with a knife, and the snipers prepare to engage in case they are ordered to intervene. Atchison and his men watch via livestream, awaiting any movement from Pierce to save her. 
she puts herself in imminent danger when she consistently denies knowing the location of the safe. Xiao's right hand affirms that she indeed seems to not know where the money is. The police interpreter tells Acheson that Shaw will kill her if Pierce fails to show up. This alarms Frank, and he pleads that they help her. But Acheson reveals that she is a capable agent and that he is confident Pierce will save her before things get worse. Fortunately, when Elise is about to get killed, she finally tells them where the safe is. Shaw opens the wall and finds the safe requires a passcode. He asks her again, but she honestly doesn't know the code. Suddenly, the sniper reports movement in the courtyard, which Acheson assumes to be Pierce. As he watches the man from the monitor, he notices that it looks similar to Frank and realizes it is him all along. Frank then escapes from the cuffs using paper clips, climbs on the balcony, and enters the building where she is. Shaw forces her against the code but fails to unlock it. Frank randomly appears on the scene and claims to be Pierce, but she denies it's him. Shaw approaches him and mentions a few distinct features of Pierce, all of which he claims he has done. Primarily pointing out his changed accent, this prompts him to speak in a British accent to confirm his identity. Shaw is confused with her continuously interfering with Frank's true identity. And so he decides that the only way to find out is for him to unlock the safe. In the end, Shaw has his way, and as Frank approaches it, Elise suddenly tells him she loves him as she already expects the worst to come. The snipers anticipate the order to fire as they witness the threat that the two were in. Acheson holds the command expecting Pierce to show up anytime soon, but Jones takes over and signals them. Immediately, all snipers shoot the enemies, killing them on the spot. The police rush to the scene, and Jones officially terminates her employment as an agent. A man on the radio informs them that they found Pierce near the location, and they immediately rush to him. Once the two are alone, Frank reveals his true identity by unlocking the safe, proving he is, in fact, Alexander Pierce. Much to her amazement, she was right in choosing him on the train, and they both shared a romantic kiss. When the police get to the man they suspect to be Pierce, he exposes the truth by informing them that he is getting paid by an unknown sender to go to specific places. Upon the police return to the safe, they discover a check for the amount of money Pierce owed to the British government. Jones concludes the operation, but Acheson argues that Pierce remains a wanted criminal in 14 countries. Jones insists that the man who wants Pierce is dead and that there is no point in pursuing him further. Acheson is left dumbfounded at the twist of events. He then goes to the balcony and strangely finds the two enjoying a boat ride. The movie ends with the couple's unexpected reunion. Elise mocks him by telling him that he spent $24 million for facial surgery and chose an average-looking face. He finds her calm and amusing, and she concludes that his new look will do. The couple then set sail, ready to start a new life together. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.